Okay. Uh, we're waiting for the rest. Do you have any questions that you want to ask? Uh, is the video clear? So I, the reason I don't want to go online because, you know, guilty conscience. Uh, I rasa macam it's not fair. Uh, some of you are not, you know, able to spend money in order for you to have a, a, a live session of a class. But uh, I pass my record in order for you to be able to download and actually uh, go through them at your pace. Uh, but the problem was I gave you the wrong videos last night. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, questions? Uh, if you are shy, then you do want to uh, hear your own voice, just uh, type in uh, if you want to do that. But uh, I would rather uh, cakap lah ya. Yeah. Kita ni orang lawyer kena belajar bercakap. Yeah, yeah. okay, questions? Faham tak tadi tu? When you look at the slide. Uh, slide block video, video slide lah ya. Yeah. What is uh, your opinion about the video? Do you understand the video? Oh uh, yes, sir. I think the video is completely, it's completely fine already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's a very good video. Okay, Alhamdulillah. It, it was a, a, a recorded video last semester, previous semesters. There are some others that you can utilize. Go into my channel and since I, I take the risk of uh, making it public because you know some issues needs to be discussed. Though I can have one who can get a blast you know, you, you, you have to discuss things, right? So, <laughs> uh, I have already made it public, so inshallah, I either have to have the link in order for you to be able to uh, go through them. Okay. And uh, if you were to go through uh, those videos and you have any question at, uh, at any time, just post the question to me in the group or, uh, you know, you can PM me. We can have a discussion, a private discussion about it. Yeah, questions? Uh, so I was wondering based on the situation that Karun discussed about the WhatsApp, does it mean that the inequality between the B40 and T20 treatment during COVID falls under Karl Marx's theory of law, which is law is oppression? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you say the law is by virtue of bringing happiness in, happiness to the greater number of people which are those people who wants to get married you know there are thousands or hundred uh, tens of thousand people who wants to get married but they were curtailed because of this so-called rule you know how, how can certain people like Nilofa could could simply do go, that go against that and then no no action has been taken so what's the purpose of the law it defeats the purpose of the law. The law is to regulate uh, society in a way uh, from Jeremy Bentham to bring happiness. So where is happiness there? The majority is not happy. I am I'm not married. Uh, I'm, no, I'm not to say that I'm not married. I'm not the person who is going to get married. I'm also not happy because when I see the, the, the application of the law is, you know, it's a uh, pili bulu, you know. I hate that. You know, if you want to apply, you apply to all. Lah. Right, because everyone will abide, because everyone know, everyone have to do it because it brings happiness to everyone. Meaning, semua orang tak kena COVID, semua orang tak ada uh, exposure, you know. Then, uh, it in the end, it will bring benefit to the society in general. Yeah, in majority. So, Oh, uh, because uh, just because you need to have election in Sabah, you have to uh, you have to do it. You know, I mean, law is there for us to do some some changes. You know, drastic changes when it comes to security of 
uh, life you know that is our fundamental liberty but they, they they choose to do that that election and then everyone went there and then they came back you know you know uh, everyone knows that we have only one digit number of covid back then but due to the this so-called activities of elected in Sabah now it comes back to like 1800 per day because we fail to do uh, to abide yeah? some people fail to abide just because they are in power you guys are going to be in power be careful yeah? don't do this okay uh sir i have a question uh, i don't know whether just a result uh, did i answer you Kalau Kamax, maka Kamax kata, yelah, betul lah, you know, they are using the law for their own benefit. The rich can benefit. They can go and do activities, you know, the, the politician are not worried about being taken action against. And uh, we saw people, you know, the society have uh, been sentenced thousands of ringgit and then being uh, put in lockup or jail, you know, because of the uh inability to follow the law apa ni what's what's wrong yeah okay so uh question according to Carlson law is hierarchy of norms that binds the society based on uh facts yeah okay uh my question is that does he mean that uh norm oh and what does it mean by legal norms uh, and basic norm uh, basic norm and legal norms, the, they are more or less the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, basic norm is our normal activities that we are able to adapt ourselves to. Right. That is the basic norm. Uh, but in line with to that, uh, sorry, the basic norm is the ultimate. So the legal norms that we have actually in our society are the things that we implement in order for us to regulate the society. For example, uh, there is a theft going on so what do you do to curb that uh, uh, situation okay uh, uh, you saw a thief uh, what do you do you you capture that that person right you try to uphold that person and then bring him to justice there are processes that that person has to go through you cannot simply tangkap tumbuk dia tendang dia eh, jijak purut dia uh, just because in your mind that he has done something wrong no you are not to take that uh, that is wrong for you to do so because there are laws that regulate the behavior of society whenever they want to capture the the perpetrator right so what you need to do is capture and then pass it to the police ask the police to come over bring him the police cannot abuse i saw police abusing their power uh, uh, you know police are not uh, judges you know the, the judges even judges they cannot uh, impose uh, punishment in terms of the actual punishment actual punishment is being done by somebody else you know people the uh, warden of the uh, they have to take their responsibility to punish if it's to sentence uh, to jail if it's uh, uh, to you know to to the gallows you know then it's up to the process the process is there from the moment orang buat salah sampai lah the moment masuk penjara sampailah the moment dia keluar balik penjara okay the moment dia bebas then dia then dia masuk ke dalam proses perundangan sampailah dia keluar daripada penjara right sampailah dia bebas balik uh, that is the legal norm that we uh, all have to accustom to and all the legal norms works together they are in harmony with one another so you bayangkan pyramid, the foundation of the pyramid would be the legal norms. Okay, legal norms that is being implemented by all institution. Tak kira apa institution tu. Okay, if the institution is the judiciary, if the institution institution is the uh, apa, home ministry, yeah, uh, police. If the uh, institution would be uh, the uh, jail, the sentencing and so on, everybody that is in the sequence of the event, you know, from the starting of that uh, thief punya activity to the moment that he is released from uh, custody, that is considered as legal norm. Now, all legal norm, if you go that pyramid, it will end up to a basic norm. Basic norm meaning punca kuasa. 
punca kuasa every person that is doing their activity you know the police the judge the magistrate uh, magistrate just sama lah kan uh, the magistrate the uh, warren uh, ni uh, the warden uh, the what do you call it uh, probation officer you know all these people they are doing things that they need to do and they are empowered by uh, the law now the question is where does this law meaning the power that is given to them so katalah macam the police the police is a constable constable dapat power dia macam mana power from the from the department you know the department has appointed him as the uh, constable in order for him to go on duty certain time you know at this certain place and then he capture the 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 thief you know uh, that authority that is given or the power that is given to him comes from somewhere and it comes from the department department is being hit by somebody that person that is heading the department got his power from somebody and that is going up and up and up if you look at the chain of power and then it will go up to the ketua polis negara and then the ketua polis negara will get his from uh, his authority or power from the minister Yeah, home minister. The home minister akan dapat power from the statute, the akta. The akta pula dapat dia punya authority uh, or legitimation from the parliament because akta cannot come out, you know, being implemented unless uh, emergency sekarang lah kan. Unless uh, 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 emergency, the power will be coming from the parliament. And parliament exists because of Parliament exists because of guys. Parliament because of Parliament exists to create laws. Yeah, where does this power of Parliament come from? The existence the of the yes, <laughs> the Constitution. So the basic law is the Constitution. The basic law for Malaysia where every power in the country comes from is the constitution so that is what he calls basic norm what is the, our basic norm so our basic norm compared to singapore compared to uh, indonesia compared to thailand different because their def- basic norm is different from us and that explain how their police their uh, judiciary their Uh, government is working because their legal norm is different from us. Why? Because their basic norm is different from us. So every country have their pyramid that they are abiding it uh, to in order for them to maintain the law. So what Kelsen is saying that it is a science. Don't worry about other things. Yeah, you just look at the law. Yeah. What do you need to look at the law? The law is based on the legal norms that we have. Okay, then uh, what is the legal norm? We look at the power that is given to one individual person that says that they are power, that, that they have power. Then you 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 backtrack, you you do your tracing, and then you will discover the what they call it, the rentetan or the the link of power that goes up to the pinnacle which is actually the constitution if the pinnacle uh, happens to be uh, brunei uh, the sultan of brunei then he is the he is the basic norm sama dengan arab saudi so uh, sama dengan uh, uh, america if you trace every power of everyone that is uh, that is given power to them to do their job they Uh, they will eventually uh, come up to the basic norm. So the issue of basic norm will come into play and uh, we need to go deeper into Kelsen because uh, ini selalu keluar dalam exam lah. Uh, what happen if there is a, a coup, you know, a coup happens in a country. So whether the new government or the new law that is presented by the new government is valid or not because whenever the new government takes over or uh, throw away the old uh, government right obviously uh, the what they call it the judiciary is still sent and obviously the judiciary will be the only institution uh, to 
legal uh, legalize or to confirm whether the coup is considered as valid or not. If it's not, then uh, it will go to international level. Uh. Even that point is uh, questionable, right? Macam junta dekat Myanmar. Okay. Uh, they have their own basic norm. And the issue about them, the junta, the army taking over the government, you know, by force uh, and uh, throwing away uh, the constitution and they apply uh, a military law, is it considered as valid or not? Because they will, they will impose uh penalty they, they will kill people whether the killing is justified or not you know any government they, if they are in power they will do they will need to do things for our government we have uh we have given them the authority to kill people under the law yeah they can kill yeah and the killing is considered as valid why because the law says so so uh Stephen Ford, uh, Stephen Ford, like, they change poor case, right? You, then you start to realize that he questioned, why you have to kill me? You are not able to kill me because you are not in power. Uh, then he raised that issue. Boleh? Uh, just Rizal kata, apa tu? Diana, uh, Diana kata, uh, Approach would be better in terms of offense committed by someone, classical or modern approach. Up to you. Up to you. Okay, if you are in power, the choices are uh, with you. The tools are, be, are in front of you. So you choose which tool would be, uh, in your opinion, give the best result. You know, you cannot simply say that uh, I, I don't care about your opinion. You have to give some kind of basis to the reason why you are asking them to do something, you know, uh, just like you not, not lawan dengan your parents, I am your parents, but uh, that is a, not a good argument. They have to say that, you know, they have to rationalize, they have to give some kind of uh, situation whereby uh, you will be able to understand why you have to follow their orders or not. So, kalau you pakai Austin saja, uh, you know what what happened uh, to the world, right? When you apply Austin, you know people revolt, uh, people topple the government, people kill uh, the monarch. You know you you see uh, revolution in uh, France, they kill all the monarch. Uh, you see a revolution in uh, what do you call it uh, in China. You know the last emperor. You see in uh, you saw it in uh, oh, Russia. Okay, they kill all the Zas family. So, uh, why? Because you cannot dictate to the society that is more intelligent, uh, getting intel more intelligent by the day. So, it doesn't make sense for you to apply Austin. So, uh, what the question exam would, would be asking you to do is to contemplate the problem and uh, table out all the tools. Yeah, you have to mention all these are all the tools that is available uh, for me to be able to 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 apply to this problem. Uh, but uh, in the end, you will say I would rather if we if the choice was given to me to choose uh, Kelson because it makes more sense. You know, uh, up to you. You can you can do any discussion uh, or, or any conclusion that you want. It's up to you. Uh, is it possible to create law that impose different penalty fine to you know i <laughs> because uh do you think so because it contradicts with kalau you pakai kelson it contradicts with the uh, the basic law the basic norm which is uh, under the federal constitution equality before the law then how do you how do you how do you categorize people just because they are done so there is no justice, you know. We put limit to the maximum fine. No, uh, I don't agree. Yeah. Oh, uh, then uh, to to punish B40 because they are poor, also it is not fair because that is in the promotion of, uh, you know, promoting offences to be conducted by B40 because, <laughs> I mean, we cannot... I don't know, you might uh, say otherwise, but if you were to ask me, that, that would be my answer. 
Okay, uh, Aida, thank you. Nelson uh, said that is sorry, yeah. Said that one is to study law, such person must remove all matters that is not scientifically proven, uh, such as morality and natural law. But without morality and natural law, how are you supposed to punish offenses and murder or rape? How can we use legal science to punish those offenses? Kalau kita pakai opinion of morality, there is no standard of morality. You know, 100 years before, morality is different from 100 years from now. Uh, morality is different from one region or one state to another. So, kalau you pergi dekat uh, Negeri Sembilan, uh, the standard of morality that they apply there is based on tradition. Yeah? Tradition. And then you, you, you are subjected to uh, adat pepati. Uh, itu kita ambil state. Kalau about countries, they are morality standard of every country that is different. Now, if you were to have situation like uh, those uh, Australian coming over in the 1980s, 1990s, eh, they like to come over because uh, it's cheap to come over here uh, to enjoy the situation, the tranquility lah, before the development. Uh, they brought uh, with them uh, drugs, so they were sentenced to death. And then they will say, how barbaric you all, eh, you have this barbaric law. Come on, man, open up. No, we cannot, we cannot entertain them because that is our standard of morality. So, uh, so if you were to apply standard of morality, they are different. So that is why Kelsen says we cannot rely on morality as our standard. We need something that can apply a formula that applies everywhere in the world. You know, without the worry. Right. In order for us to justify whether a person is authorized to do what he is supposed to do, and that authority is legitimate, you know, we have to look it in a scientific way. You know, we have to clear off the oh, this is natural law. You cannot kill people. If I am suffering, I want to die. You cannot you cannot allow me to die or ask someone to inject poison in my body. Uh, euthanasia is not recognized. How come recognized in certain countries uh, in Europe? So there is no standard. That is why uh, Kelsen is proposing. Yeah, he is not the answer, obviously. He is just proposing in order for us to really understand what is law, we have to apply uh, the scientific method. Only then we will be able to uh, clarify ourselves about the subject matter in question you know kalau i pakai lgbt lgbt uh, punya issue semua orang ada opinion on lgbt you know mau tak moral lah moral lah aku punya pasal lah kalau uh, you pakai john stuart mill it's my problem lah if uh, i want to do it i tak kena kacau you pun no way nak jadi sibuk je i did not hurt you at all so if you apply various uh, principle other than the scientific way you get clouded you don't know which one is right, which one is wrong. So in order to do that, look at the scientific way, look at the authority of those people that is doing things, then you base uh, on that, you, know, you do your tracing, then you find out that memang it is legitimate because of the... Uh, uh, I think you have classes ke? Macam mana ke? Can we proceed? Ke? Macam mana? <laughs> Boleh faham ni semua? Boleh sir. Boleh sir. Good, eh? Boleh sir. Ini foundation. So you have to read further because and uh, if you don't read then obviously it, the understanding will go off. Uh, it is difficult to come back to your understanding that you might have right now. So in order for you to enhance that, uh, we have to read up. You know, uh, as I told you, ada a few videos yang you can utilize uh, or YouTube memang gila punya banyak uh, apa, resources. Uh, this, kalau you are say you are lost, then come back to me. Uh, I'll try to bring you forward, insyaAllah. So, kalau ada apa-apa, kalau -apa, kita end. So, tutorial petang ni, Q&A juga ke sebagai soalan? Uh, yeah, I know you all create situation. Uh, in groups, yeah, uh, di mana you kena uh, investigate a problem. 
Okay, say for example, you ambil I dah ambil dah LGBT kan, you tak boleh ambil LGBT So, issue of LGBT, whether LGBT is to, supposed to be uh, apa, allowed or not there, there, there is a need for the law to come in uh, uh, to legitimize uh, LGBT activities Now, that is the issue, yeah? whether or not to create a law for LGBT Sekarang dah ada law to prevent LGBT what if the law is to promote LGBT or to allow LGBT activities? That is the uh, issue. Eh? Now, you have to apply all the jurists when your perspective towards LGBT when your issue. Okay? Uh, so each group of uh, four, maybe, uh, you have to, you know, each one of you have to bring up one, one uh, area and then, uh, sorry, each one, like each group akan bawa satu area and each one of the member can you know share and bring uh, a jurist in order for you to look at from the perspective of that jurist boleh boleh sir uh, because dalam exam dia akan bagi situation eh. dia bagi situation i tak nak you macam uh, dah panic dah tak tahu macam mana nak nak, nak apa nak jawab okay so uh, ada lagi soalan tadi ada somebody Uh, Kuh ke yang nak tanya tadi? Diana, ada? Tak ada? Okay, so uh, see you uh, petang ni insyaAllah We will do that activity ya yeah. uh, Nanti next week kita tengok exam question uh, This week kita start off dengan apa discussion dulu Okay, right, sir. sir. All right. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Thank you so much, you. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Bye, sir. Bye. Biatul Iman, Dexter. Biatul ada apa-apa nak tanya Iman? <laughs>